Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride Through in the Xbox One X. Let's continue with our DLC pack playthrough. We're going on to number three now. A roar that breaks through the silence. So let's get on with this and uh, see what bikes we can use in this pack. I believe it is the sports bike pack. So um, yeah, ten events. So again, it's going to be another long video. Starting off at the snake. So um, let's have a look, see what bikes we can choose. Yeah, there's a sports bike pack, so I think I'll go for that one actually. Yes, 1000 double R. So here we go. The snake at lunch. Lunchtime, nighttime, even. I've literally just had my lunch. Um, yeah, let's do this. I apologize if I sound a bit shitty. Um, I'm a little bit ill at the moment, so yeah, I, I don't sound too good, but we'll get through it. So currently, seventh place. Now we're down to 8th. Um, his exhaust pipe was going all over the place then. It was like uh, flicking up and down, so he's got exhaust problems. Probably exhausted! <laughs> I deserve that for that crappy joke. <laughs> anyway, we're back up to 6th. Now we'll try and get through on the inside we go. We are through into the lead. We've got it stopped. Alright. I have to admit, this is like the first time I've properly used this bike. I've done like a little bit of time trial with it when the game first came out, but never really chose to use this bike at all. And it's not bad. I know it's based on the BMW S1000 RR, so it should be good. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's feeling good. We've got a bit of a lead, not a huge one. We should be able to hopefully extend that. 0.6 of a second. We've gone in too deep as well. Sounds like a Yamaha behind us. Oh, yeah. There was a Yamaha. And uh, completely messed it up. So he threw. Oh, straight to the back of him. Just behind an actual lemon. We need to get past the lemon boy. Shove up the inside. Yeah, no, gone too wide. Gone too wide. No, that's not going to work there. Come on. get past him. Trouble is we've already gone through my strongest section so the AI seemed to be a little bit better towards the end of the lap so we may struggle to get past him on this lap. I need the two laps as well. We really closed in there. Almost got through but not quite. Up the inside. Didn't work. Nearly at him. Here we go, no. That was never going to work through there. Yeah, I really think we're going to have to wait till the next and final lap to try and get past him. Unless we can get a good run up at the hill. Which we have. And we are through into the lead. Oh, gone in too hot, gone in too hot. He's going to come back through. Stream past. Not on the brakes, or are we? We're on the inside. He's trying to go around the outside and he's done it, so we don't get him by the line either, so we need to make sure we're past him before that point on this final lap. He's actually pulled away a little bit now. Through the first tunnel. Shove up the inside. There we go. In the lead now. So hopefully we should be able to pull away a bit now. We 
should definitely extend on the brakes through here. Yeah, we go for the rest of the lap. We can't afford to make too many mistakes, otherwise he'll have us back. Oh, come on. Huge lead now. This is where it all kind of went, started to go wrong last lap, gone in a bit too hot again. Again, a bit too hot into there as well, but we've got almost a two second lead, so we're fine. Not great through that little section, but I don't think we lost any time. Looks like he's closing in a bit. So it was 1.8. We'll see what it is at the next split. Whenever the next split comes about, but it should be pretty soon. There it is, 1.8 still, so we haven't really lost anything, so that's good. So we should be alright. We should be alright for the rest of the lap. So we did catch him up right towards the end, so we should be alright. Although that has come down, that wheelie didn't help either. almost right with me. We could be in trouble here. Could lose it right at the end. Getting a little bit hot into there. But I think we've just got a tiny, tiny gap. Just enough unless he's going to really outbreak me into the final corner. And across we go, first place. There's our achievement for uh, winning a race. Sweet. Six stars, thank you very much. Cool. Next. So, Tenerife. I think I'll use the same bike again, actually. It's only a time trial as well, so yeah, I think I'll use it for the Tenerife time trial. Then we go on to Garda Lake. Okay, so time trial. Got to do a 149 flat for five stars. Which is uh, doable, but it is Tenerife. See how we go. As always, we won't know how we're doing until we get to the start finish line on the first lap, so just have to take it as it comes at the moment. And keep it nice and tidy as well. Try and maximise our time through the really quick section, which is coming up in a second. A bit wide through there. Nearly into the barrier as well. Don't want to be doing that. Here we go. Had to lift off a little bit, otherwise we would have ended up hitting the cliff and flying up in the air. Alright, it's fine. Got less than a minute to get to the end. Oh, 
little bit wide. I think could have had second gear through there. That would have helped a bit better. Okay, final corner time. Get the run out. Line. Yeah, we're going to do it. 143923. Done. That was easy. Okay, on to the next one. Five stars for us. So the next one, Garda Lake. I'm actually thinking about using that million edition Suzuki GSXR 1000 for this one. Obviously, there are a few other bikes to use as well. We'll go with the Jixer, I think. Yeah, it's the only other one which is in the same pack. Right, let's use it. So here we go. One million edition at Garda Lake. Let's see how we get on. Good initial start. Trying to wheelie. Trying to keep the front end down. Two laps around here. And we are into fourth place. Hard on the brakes as we go into the corner of many waterfalls. Try and get the exit. Yeah, that was good. We're on the wrong side though. I don't want to be on this side. Otherwise we're going to have to take a tighter line through this corner. So that's to let him go on the brakes. It's fine. Okay, put the front end through there, but we were all good. Alright, we need to try and find a way past this guy. Can we go through? Not yet. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Not happening. Now we are we are through eventually. That lemon man again. Adrian Lemon. Should be able to catch him through this right hand king as long as we get it right. That wasn't as good as I could have taken it, but it's done the job. We're into the lead. Oh. Oh. I thought he crashed then, but he didn't. He definitely sat up though, because he almost went straight to the back of me. May have let us off like straight away pretty much. Out of here we're usually pretty good as well. We've extended our lead a little bit. This bike does feel good. Yeah, we've got a nice little lead now. Probably over a second by now. Oh, well, over three seconds, in fact, apparently, so. Oh, got it stopped. Yes, we have. Okay, that is going to be lap one done, which means we've got one lap left to go. Final lap time aboard this awesome bike. 2.6, it's caught us a little bit, but that's fine. Too hot into that. We've got a good run out, so we should be fine. Don't think we have to worry about being caught anymore. I think we're going to be fine. Over the bridge. I don't think that gap is three seconds though. It's not, it's two point one, so it's come down a little bit again. But obviously we didn't have to stop panicking yet because we're getting to the section where we got into the lead last time. And uh, yeah, that's when we started pulling away initially, so we should be fine. Oh, 
1.7. That is definitely coming down, mate, but now it should start going back up. Expecting that to have doubled by the next time we get to a split. Split should be coming relatively soon. Can't even see him on the map anymore. The hill we go, yeah, they're still there, just. That split will definitely be coming up now. 4.3. Good job. Okay, just a run to the line. Gonna be another victory for us this time aboard the 1 million edition Suzuki GSXR 1000, and we are done. Okay, three out of three, five stars. Thank you very much. On to the next one. So the snake again. Oh, this one is a time trial as well. So we'll use the Suzuki again, I think. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, the snake again. So, 3 minutes 42.6, and that is for 6 stars. Strange coming back here in the same championship, the same volume. This one should be fine. We shouldn't have any problems with this one. As soon as we get it stopped in time on the brakes. one as well. Okay, on the brakes. A little bit of movement, but all good. Got that nailed. Okay, a bit too quick into there. Was it got to do three forty two six? There's a bit of dirt there. If they didn't slow us down too much, didn't feel like it. Up the hill into the hairpin. Feeling good so far. Yeah, it's not going to be a perfect lap, but it should be fine. I'm going to hazard a guess. Um, because of the Garda Lake one, we were, what, about four seconds quicker? I don't think we're going to be that much quicker here, so... Um, I think we'll be in the 39s. That's uh, what we can achieve. I mean, it doesn't really matter 
what time we do it in, as long as we beat one uh, 3.42.6. Yeah, I do think we'll be looking at a 3.39. Depending on how I take the next couple of corners. Oh, I we'll break too late then. Well, actually, no I didn't. I thought it was going in a bit too hot. Might be even less than that. Might be a 3.29. Oh, it was a 3.29.8. Wow, that was 10 seconds off of what I thought. <laughs> okay. There's our six stars. So, the next guard a lake again? The, why is the Ducati Super Sport S against some absolute beasts? The ZZR 1400 and the Hayabusa. So, I tried the Ducati against these bikes. It is absolutely. It doesn't stand a chan chance. Could not get with them. Um, they all just pulled away off the start, and as soon as we got in the straights, yeah, couldn't do anything about them. I don't know why the Super Sport S is even in the same category. It has nowhere near the power, so. Yeah, a little bit strange that one, hence why I've gone for the Kawasaki instead. Even though it's not actually in the uh, the bike pack. But you know, I've never got a win on that Ducati. Which is a shame. But yeah, I'm going to have to uh, throw in a little bit of a wild card and use the Kawasaki instead. Because that Ducati just didn't have the legs. Didn't have the legs at all. Through the corners it was fine, but as soon as we had to uh, open the throttle, the... Uh, the the bigger bikes, they uh, just pulled away the Hayabusa and the Kawasaki, so... Yeah, couldn't beat them, so I had to join them. Up to third. Can we shove up the inside? Not quite. Okay, we've gone wide, we've lost third, and we've got it back. Sneak through to second through here. I think we can. Oh, no, straight to the back of him. Maybe not. Yeah, we're through now. I mean, the Kawasaki doesn't handle as well as the uh, Ducati Super Sport S. But then uh, it's a much bigger bike. But it has got a lot more power. Oh, he's hit the barrier. That's sent him wide. That's messed him up. And we are through. No, we're not. We're side by side. Now I'm a bit wide. So he's back through. And we got the exit. Not quite. Oh, he's hit the barrier again. Okay. Can't quite get past him though. And I've just hit the wall. And took a sign out as well. close okay well we've got one lap left to go and we are in second so we've still got a bit of work to do but if I was on the Ducati I would probably be down in about sixth place because that's as hard as I could get the trouble is if all the Ducati um, events are going to be against these bikes I'm not going to be able to use it A bit annoying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this one. Need to keep pushing on, but at the moment, not looking good. Six of a second behind. We should be able to reel him in a little bit through here. And through the next corner as well. A bit too wide for me though. A bit too wide. Hit a few of those little bollards. OK, 
Okay, it's all going to be about that kink. We need to get that spot on. That wasn't that great, but we've got him. Can we keep it there, though? Both of us has pulled away from the rest of the pack. Pulling away a little bit now. Get it stopped in time. This is where we almost got back into the lead last time, but we went wide at this corner. That was better. We might have it. I think we will. One second lead. Please say we've got it stopped in time. We have. Oh, a bit wide on the exit though. He is not that far behind, but we are going to get it by the line. That'll work for that one a little bit. But we got it in the end. There was just no chance of me doing that on the Ducati. And that's five stars for us. Tenerife again? Okay, so back with the Kawasaki. Here we go. Three laps around here. Coming back to the same circuits. Done the snake twice. Um, oh. We've done Lake Garda twice. I know we've done the other Tenerife circuit, so... We're back to a different variation. Currently in fourth, but we've got a good runner through there, up the inside, into third place, and we've still got a good run. Can we get past this guy? Yes, we can, and past Lemon Boy, and we're in the dirt. But maintaining that lead still. Not much in it at the moment. At the moment, I can't. I'm still here in behind. And we're starting to pull away, but we need to make sure we get it through this left left kink. We've got other kink coming up as well, which is a little bit tighter. Second lead. Oh, almost in the dirt. So guys, um, you may have seen my community post I put up on the channel yesterday, the day before, yesterday at time of recording, but by the time this goes up probably a couple of days ago, um, yeah, just saying that the MotoGP19 community event which happened uh, last Friday on the 10th of May, I, I did go. I got the invite and I was there so um, I will be doing a video about my thoughts about MotoGP19 after having hands on with it and uh, I'll have some exclusive gameplay to show you guys as well so be sure to stick around on the channel to look out for that and uh, I will be going go into depth about some of the the new additions to the game and uh, what I thought overall of the whole experience and everything so yeah, looking forward to uh, getting that up on the channel and letting you guys have a look and uh, listen to my thoughts of MotoGP19. It's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it a hell of a lot. So, 
I, I should kind of tell you what to expect from the video because there, there are so many positives about it. But I'm not going to say about it in this video because this is Ride 3. This is a completely different, uh, completely different game. Obviously, still a motorbike game, but my GP is separate, so I will be doing a whole separate video. And like I said, a little bit of exclusive gameplay will be in that video as well of MotoGP 19. Because we're not actually that far away from the release of MotoGP 19. It's only a few weeks away, so we haven't got long to wait. And you can be sure when the game is out, I will be putting a lot of content on the, the channel as well. Lots of videos. And, uh, of course, be doing the career playthrough as well. And, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys will follow me through that. I know uh, I will be finishing the Valentino Rossi career playthrough of MotoGP 18. And uh, once I've done that, that will be it for MotoGP 18. Apart from doing a side-by-side -side comparison video of MotoGP 18 and MotoGP 19. I'm going to wait for the game to come out so that I can record my own stuff with that. And then, yeah, you guys can uh, kind of decide. I probably won't do any commentary this time. I know last time I done a comparison video with two games, uh, Ride 3 and Ride 2. I didn't do any commentary on it, I think people kind of preferred that. I know some people didn't, but, you know, I've done it before in the past, and I, I go on to speak about sound, and even though you can hear the sound in the background, people just start moaning that I'm talking over the sound, so, you know, you can kind of make your own mind up on the, the comparison, like, especially if I don't do any commentary, you can just look at it, listen to it and make your own mind up on it rather than listen listening to me um oh hello got someone for company a hayabusa we should be fine hopefully so yeah lots to look forward to on the channel i will not stop doing the ride three videos do not worry they will continue going up on the channel now we've still got a little time between now and the release of MotoGP 19 but yeah, I will uh, still do Ride 3 videos because, you know, Ride 2 for me was kind of a saving grace because the amount of times I went back just to play Ride 2 after playing other, other games and kind of starting to get, I don't, like, not necessarily a little bit bored, but I just always went back to Ride 2 because it just felt fun and it kind of, like, reignited my, my spark and... Especially when the Isle of Man TT game came out, which almost completely just wrecked the channel and uh, almost made me stop altogether. But luckily, Ride 2, I decided, you know, I need to do something, otherwise, I'm just going to drive myself nuts play, trying to play um, Isle of Man TT game. And that was getting like really, really boring, and it took a lot of time to record, especially doing the full. Uh, Alaman TT races. Um, and the physics were pretty horrid as well, so I wasn't really having a lot of fun with that game. It was alright to begin with when the game first came out, but the fact that, like, with all the updates and that, they decided not to tweak the physics, even though most people who played the game were asking for uh, physics tweaks, but they never done it. And then we had the horrible mess, which was the sidecars, which yeah, just flipped over, like, really stupidly easy. They had no weight behind them. And I just found, like, with the bikes, with the rear, the rear just did not grip at all. Like, you could go into a corner absolutely fine. you come around, like, the next lap and go into it exactly the same. And it was so unpredictable that the rear would just be like, nah, not gripping anymore, goodbye, and throw you down the road. So, yeah, ride two. I went back to that after playing Isle of Man TT and I was like, oh, this this feels like home. It's like putting on a pair of old slippers, you know, after a hard day at work or whatever. Nice and comfortable. And, uh, yeah, so that's why I kind of started playing Ride 2. But, you know, I've gone off on a tangent a little bit. But basically, I will continue doing Ride 3. And if I, if I ever feel like um, I'm not sure what I'm doing or whatever, I will, you know always be doing ride 3 because I, I enjoy ride 3 it's a lot of fun and we've still got a hell of a lot to do in career mode so so Tenerife again Tenerife again different bike this time NR750 
So the Honda never ready, or nearly ready 750. Let's go. Can we sneak through? Can we sneak? We can sneak through. So we are up to sixth place and into fifth, out the way, into fourth, into third. Can we sneak through in a second? There's a gap. We are through. That worked. That worked really well. Three laps around here. Bloody Tenerife. Tenerife all over the place. Up the inside. That's not going to work though, is it? Nah, I went too wide. Through here. We're going to have to try and get them through this sector. Oh yeah, here we go. Pass one and pass lemon. So we are in the lead. Can we stay here? We've still got another two laps to go. I can still hear someone right behind me, so we haven't really pulled away yet. wasn't so good. That wasn't a good exit. We could potentially lose the lead very, very soon. He is right on us. Oh, I thought he was going to come past him, but he didn't. He decided to, to back off. Oh, yeah, he's passed now. I hit a bit of dirt. We're back down to third. So we've got a bit of work to do. That really cost us that uh, that moment through the final corner gun on the dirt on the inside. Really lost a lot of time. So we've got to try and do it all again. Catch back up to these two. Bit of a gap to breach. This is where we're going to be able to close in. I don't think we're going to get past anyone this time. But we will close in on the back. Or will we? We are closing, but... Yeah, we're going to be on them. Nearly past one of them, but... Couldn't quite make it stick. Get a good exit out of here. Oh, we had a better line. We're going to go back into the lead. Is that going to be short-lived though? Right, we cannot afford to go on the dirt through the final corner. If we do that on the final lap, we will not win. So I've learnt my lesson. Up the hell we go. Here we go, final corner. Staying away from the dirt. Yes. That worked really well. That's still right there. But we are going to lead over the line. One lap left to go. Oh. I thought he was going to sneak through then. Again, I thought he was going to sneak through that Kawasaki. He's trying to find a way past. Okay, attempt of the second. But the fact that we're leading as we come on to this section is a good thing. Because we should just be able to pull away now. We are. Yeah, 
we're looking good now, 1.2 seconds. As long as we don't go on the dirt, we should be absolutely fine now. Oh, hit the post, but we didn't actually go on the dirt, we just hit the post with our, our screen of our bike. Seven. Tell you what, it looks like they're just starting to edge forward a little bit. That's the dirt. That's not good. That's not good. We might have blown it. We might have blown it. He's coming. Ooh. No, he decided to back off. We just got it. Almost blown it right at the end. On to the next one then. Uh, Garda Lake again. Another time trial. Uh, right, okay. I guess we'll be using the Honda again. So another time trial around Lake Garda. So 246.6. Okay. See if we can do this one. It should be fine, as always. Never really had any troubles with any of the time trials in this game. I know there's been a few people who did have troubles with them. But, um... Yeah. Not me. Just seem to, uh... Get on with them and... A lot of them are found quite easy. Oh, that was almost in the barriers. Speaking too soon. Let's find through there. Okay, so we've basically got just under two minutes to get to the end. Which I think is loads of time. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, through the kink. Good line through there. Didn't have to come off a throttle. On the brakes. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Wow, okay. I think we've blown that lap. Gonna have to do another lap. Bike didn't really feel like it was slowing down then. That's a little bit strange. going to do it this lap. We lost way too much time going off track. Be interesting to see what kind of lap time we, we do, but we're going to have to go for another run, I think. So 2.46.6 we've got to beat. Yeah, we're not going to do it. basically got 16 seconds to get to the start finish and it's a little way down the straight I don't know it might be close we've done it okay 2.44 wow that was a surprise I wasn't expecting to do that after that horrible mistake I made but we've done it so Tenerife again. Tenerife again. 
Right. Let's pick a bike and go. Ready, Tenerife. Um, should I go Suzuki or the BM? I think I might go for the. Where is it? Where is it? Where's it gone? Okay, so let's get it done using the Suzuki 1 million edition again. Here we go. I believe we have to do Tenerife again. I'll tell you what, I've just noticed though. So, this event and the last event. I've uh, I basically didn't record it all in one go, and there's been an update since I done the other events because there was a new DLC pack. Um, it looks like the bug has come back where you can't select first gear on the grid. Might just been me. I have to double check in the next race, but I could not select first gear whilst on the start finish grid. That's a little bit annoying. So I don't know if the new update has broken something. Or, like I said, if it was just me. But I will double check with the next race to confirm whether that is the case or not. I just can't believe we're doing bloody Tenerife again! How many times do I have to be subject to this annoying track? The main thing is we're in the lead and we've got quite a nice little lead at the moment. 1.3 seconds. So I can't see us messing it up now. The fact that we're already in the lead, I don't think we're going to lose it now. Because it's a nice big healthy lead. in that rear. Wheelie. Yeah, we're really pulling away now. 3.6. Doesn't even matter if we mess up the final corner. Wow. Wasn't expecting to pull away that much. lap two and yeah we're away with that 3.7 could if we want to do just pull over and uh, just look at the, the view yeah this Suzuki does feel good our lead going to be now as we're at the next split over four seconds over five seconds okay now you're just taking the piss yeah this one is uh, a lot easier than I, I was expecting actually but this bike does feel good just a bit concerned about that that little bug of not being able to select first gear anymore. And it is literally since the, the latest update. So, yeah, like I said, I'll double check at the beginning of the next race and see what's what. 5.1. And we've still got a whole nother lap to go. Get 
stops. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're getting towards the end of lap number two. Our lead is 5.3. Through the final corner. And we've got one lap left to go. Final lap time around Tenerife. Hopefully this is the last time we have to do this race in this volume. If the next race is either Lake Garda or the Snake, I think I might scream. Seems to be pretty much the only race that we've done in this category. So, through the left, 6.2, still going up, a bit too hot into the hairpin there, big wheelie as well on the way out. Kink. Okay, just got to negotiate the second kink again. The final time. Six point two. Doesn't really matter what our lead is anymore. The time has almost become irrelevant. We'll also be announcing something fairly soon um, regarding to the channel and doing something. So be sure to uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, spoiler, it is related to MotoGP19. So um, yeah, I, I will be talking about that in a completely different separate video to... Uh, the next MotoGP19 video that I put up about my thoughts on that but I will keep something separate for a different video anyway across the line we go Tenerife done again for like the a millionth time Whew. we've got one more event to do please don't be Tenerife Lake Garda or um, the other one. Oh, it's the snake again Unbelievable. Ah, let's use the preamp. Let's get it done for the final time. Where are you? I've lost it. There he is. Okay, let's go. We've literally just done the two... Tenerife layouts, Lake Garda and the Snake. So literally the only races we've done in this whole event, this whole volume. I'm not going to want to do these tracks for quite some time now. And yes, I couldn't pick first gear on the grid again, so I think it's bugged again since the latest update. Unless it's just mine, but... If anyone else has uh, been playing Ride 3 since the latest update, can you confirm down in the comments whether it is just me or whether it is bugged again and you can't select first gear on the grid? Way too hot to there. I'll tell you what, this bike doesn't feel like it did earlier. I wonder if this has changed slightly since the update as well.
It doesn't feel that great on the brakes anymore. What has happened? We've brought this bike around here before and it didn't really have any issues with it. But I am struggling to get it stopped. At least there's only two laps around here. But yeah, again, the snake. Trying to keep it upright, that would be helpful. So, we, um, we've got a little gap. Three quarters of a second. Yeah, but when we get towards the end of the lap, they're going to be right on me again. Something is not right with this bike. It doesn't feel right anymore. stay ahead. We're getting towards the end of the first lap. Through Edwards Corner. Oh, almost high side of myself. Wow. I think we're going to lose the lead now. The bike isn't stopping and we've lost the lead. Gonna lose second as well if we're not careful. I had to go really early on the brakes there to get it stopped. Even he's gone wide. What is going on? It's not just me struggling with the brakes then. We're in the lead again. We're about to lose it though through here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Can we stay in the lead through the first tunnel? Should be able to. And the second one. I don't see these three or four tracks very soon, then, you know, it won't be too soon. I just can't believe how much we've done the same tracks over and over again in this little volume. Definitely ready to go onto a different track now. 1.3. Again, apologies for sounding like absolute shit in this video. I do feel a little bit like death warmed up. Hopefully I should start feeling better soon. I'm just glad I didn't feel like this uh, last week, especially on the Friday when I went to Milan. Otherwise that wouldn't have been good. Yeah, like the, the community video they put up yesterday, um, we all done interviews, but my interview wasn't on there yesterday, so I think they only done four yesterday and there was about 12 of us, so I'm assuming they, they'll probably do another couple of videos with the rest of our interviews in. So 
need to check how long I've, have I been recording for. Over an hour. Okay. Okay, by the time I've taken the loading screens out and everything, it's still going to be over an hour. And I am going to be investing in some new equipment as well for recording. Got a new game capture card on the way. Um, but the, the main major thing I need to get is a new laptop. So that is what is going to be up next. Um, because the game capture that I've actually ordered, I can't use it with my current current laptop. But, you know, it's a, it's a better game capture than what I'm currently using. So I just need to get a laptop that can run it. So I've kind of done it the wrong way around, but... Hey ho, we live and learn. Anyway, that is that done. Should get another achievement as well. I'm actually glad that's over with because those tracks were getting rather tedious. Oh, there we go. Here's our new bike, the KTM RC8. Oh, that'll do. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.